Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the final segment of Community Matters. Uh, Community Matters, the show about you, the community, because it's you guys that matter, and we talk about the matters that are important to us. Um, welcome for another Saturday night. I'm your host, Abul Hasnat. Uh, we're in the final segment of this show. Uh, we have been talking about GCSEs. Uh, I'm covering here for Adnan Pavel this weekend, and um, what a topic he's given me to pick up because this has been a big year for GCSEs. Um, just as I introduced in the first and second segment, we're talking about the GCSEs this year, how tough they were, and the new grading system that we're going to um, be experiencing. Um, I, I, I've still got the guests with me, so I have Maria Chowdhury, who was um, uh, a successful student for this year's GCSEs. I have Mariam Chowdhury, her, her younger sister, who's just entered year 10 and is about to experience the new uh, grading system. And I have brother Khaled Khan, who, who is, um, runs a tuition centre. Um, he I'm sure he'll tell us about his position in it as well. And will come to uh, talk to us about the benefits of tuition. Um, so what I want to do in this final segment, and I've got so much to cover, so I'm going to try to rush through it as much as I can. But the telephone lines are open. If you have any questions, if you want to talk about the new grading, so if you want to talk about your success in GCSE, you want to talk about your children's success in GCSE, all the difficulties your parents have, you want some advice maybe from students or someone that runs a tuition center, give us a call. We'll, we, I'm sure we can find one way or, or shape and form answer for you. Um, Mariam. M Maria, sh sorry, should I say. Um, I never asked you this at the first segment, and I think this will benefit a lot of the students out there, because it's all well and good saying revise, revise, spend yeah. four or three hours, spend 15 hours a week, but what do you revise, and how do you revise? What's, what's the best way to get, um, get out of revision? I think a lot of students, they just think, you know, to revise, you just stare at your textbook, but um, that's actually really difficult, and um, my best advice is to look out and find all the resources that you can because there's a lot of stuff out there so for example for english and history i used to use youtube videos and for maths i used to go on um, there's different maths websites where they have videos explaining it and practice questions so online or go to your teachers there's so many um, resources out there and just use them as best as you can so um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to take my back self back 25 years, right? So I'm a student now, and you said to me, go and go out and get all these other resources. So are you saying to me I should look at different ways that one topic is taught? Yeah, so um, the way that I found a lot of my resources, I literally just Googled um, maths, GCSE questions, 2007, like the new GCSE, and a lot of websites came up. So I should just work from those or type into YouTube and different... Um, YouTube channels will come up, like some of them are dedicated to the subject, some specific to your topic, um, and there's a lot of things out there. Okay, did you find anything that you thought, no, this isn't right? Because obviously that's the one downfall to the internet, isn't it? Because there's, there's a lot of stuff out there, some of it ain't great, and you must have had to, did you have to spend a lot of time, shall I say, trawling and filtering through all of that? Um, sometimes I'd see, I'd see something and it wouldn't be my exam board or it wouldn't be the new GCSEs, but most of the time um, they're always updating them and basing them on the current exams. Okay, well, based on what you're telling me, sit at home, revise, get onto Google, get onto YouTube, different versions out there. Do you really need tuition? Ah, no, that's another thing. Um, <laughs> I've done um, quite a lot of tuition, so I had home tutoring where I'd go to someone's house um, but the one that I've been with the longest and I'd say um, was the most beneficial for me um, was a tuition centre and all the teachers there are fully qualified teachers and what that meant was that they knew what was going on at school and they knew about all the reforms, they know about all the content that I specifically need to learn, the way I need to learn it but at the same time um, it kept it quite personal like that's the thing about tuition, it's centred around you like in school they work at the pace of their timetables, they work at you know, the pace that they're given. But in tuition, um, what helped me was I came and I knew what I needed help with and they already knew how to help me. And that was the best thing about tuition. Brilliant. Um, Hala, I think it's quite befitting to come on to you for this because um, tuition centres, um, yes, they, 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 they were probably overlooked back in the years, but now, I mean, now it's more a case of hunting down the correct tuition centre, isn't it? True. I mean, uh, today I was given a speech and then there was a person who was selling Amra, Borishali Amra, mm. yeah? And then people were just picking, no, no, this one, give me this one, no, 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 that one, this one. When it comes to picking a, an Amra, I don't know what it's called by in, in English, we are very picky. But uh, when it comes to tuition centre, I would request parents to go around, search around, and everyone will say, qualified teachers, ask them which school they teach. 
just like Maria said, when you are teaching year, year, year 11 at your school, you are in a better position to, to, to explain the reforms, the new structures to the children. Uh, when it comes to Key Stage 4, 10 and 11, children are grown up, pretty much they know their strengths and weaknesses. But we need to understand one thing, that uh, revision is an art. It's just like cooking is an art. Everyone cooks, but not everyone is a chef. You see, so revision, in, in my opinion, in my personal judgment, uh, Key Stage 4, Year 11, the best form of revision is doing the past exam papers. Keep on doing the past exam papers, at least one paper every week, and where go match it through through the mark scheme and just go through wi wi which section you have lost mark focus more because most of the children they don't know what to study they think okay I'll be okay but what if the question that you are not okay and they came up in your exam and how are you going to find out about it the only way you can find out is just go through all the past papers and one after another one after another and then you'll see that you know you, you are bridging the gaps mm. but children in here like Key stage two, three, again, if they're not homework, they don't know what to study. The, my advice would be there's two, three different ways you can go about it. Firstly, that there are books for each and every single year groups. You can buy from, from Amazon, you can buy from W. Smith. Buy the books for your children, okay? Uh, for key stage three, seven, eight, nine, all three years. One, no, one. So that, I mean, but, but just to focus on, I think because, because we've just come out of GCSE, for the key stage four, I mean, what are these? What are these students really? Um, what, what would be your direct advice to them? A again, like Maria, uh, Mariam is in year ten. The first, the the way I understand things is okay. If she doesn't have homework, she doesn't know what to study. Now, first thing, she could just have a key stage four revision book, set herself a target that I'm going to do one page of English, one page of maths every day, so that in three four months time the book is finished from first page to the last page. That's one way of doing it. Secondly, okay. Uh, today in maths, they have taught me, say, linear equations. I'm going through linear equations today. You were taught at school, you come home, you revise. Right. But the best form of revision, I would say, uh, is that ask your teacher in advance, what are we going to do next week? Say the, the teacher says, we'll do probability next week. Come home and study probability before you go to the class, just like university lectures. I understand that you're not going to understand everything, even 10%. I mean, you and I go to Taravi prayer, right? Do you remember how many, how many days I say, okay, today is 19, so Yasin Surah is coming two days later. Mm. And on that Yasin Surah, when it comes, I'm more focused. Because I know, I, even though I haven't memorized it, but I know part of it. Mm. So the, the children, if they know what they're going to be taught at school next week, and if they even understand 10% of the topic, Remember that 10% is they are 10% ahead of the rest of the class. Mm. That will make them more confident, more focused, and obviously they will enjoy the lesson better. Our, our time is very constri uh, very restricted, unfortunately, and so um, I would I would love to hear so much more from you, Khaled Bayam, um, on tuitions as well. But I'm I've got I've got about. Um, I've got the final half of this segment to talk about the new grading system, which I promised everyone from the beginning of the segment. So, um, Murray, I'm going to come to you to start with, because you guys were given the insight into the new grading system. And obviously, uh, for those that missed the first two segments, one of your uh, A stars was graded a nine. Um, do you, are you able to give us an insight into the new grading system and what you were taught about it? Um, yes. Yeah, so, before they used to have letters, so A star TG, um, and now they introduced numbers, which is, um, there's more numbers than there were grades which means they're just um, um, like making the boundaries a lot smaller mm. to differentiate between a high C and a low C, a high A star and a low A star. So the boundaries that they kept the same was that um, a grade 4 is a low C, a grade 7 is an A, a grade 8 is an A star, and a grade 9 is a high A star, so it's like an A star mm. star. And they set that to differentiate you know, the top students. How asked, how did you, um, you students, when you first heard, heard that, what was your reaction to that? We thought that it was a bit, a really far away, it was quite unreachable. We thought, oh, you know, just a couple kids, maybe some grammar school kids, they're going to be the ones who get the nights. Let's just keep working towards seven, eights. Yeah. Mary, give us a moment. We've got, we've got a caller on the line. Let me, let me take this call. Uh, caller, welcome to NTV. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello, hi, Assalamualaikum. Alaikum Salaam. Uh, it's a very good program, Alhamdulillah, mashallah. Uh, good to see the brothers and uh, the late ladies are doing great. And, uh, where, where are you calling from, brother? And your I'm name? I'm from uh, Barkin, Dagenham. Barkin, Dagenham. And your name is? I uh, don't wish to mention my 
my name, but uh, it's the brother. Okay, uh, Mr. Anonymous from Barking and Dagnum, what would you like to say? Yes, uh, from year seven uh, until nine, what sort of textbook do you suggest uh, that uh, the kids can read? From okay. year seven, eight, key stage four, uh, up until year nine. Okay, you'd like advice on the key stage two and three textbooks. Okay, yes, thank right. you so for your call. I've got, I think I have the perfect nine, person to give that right. answer. Yeah. All right, thank you for calling. Salaam alaikum. Salaam. Uh, thank you, brother. Uh, year 7 to year 9. Yeah, year 7 to year 9. I mean, mostly, um, I think we are in Bangalore. Yes, Bangalore. 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 Uh, mostly, how is it? Key stage 4 is the exam board. But key stage 3 is the uh, syllabus ta pretty much the same. So, regardless of the company, we can do it. Key stage 3 is the same as different company boy kinen to hon dekhben je content e dekhben je pretty much same topic the cover so it doesn't make much of a difference apni kon boy kinlen so long apni jannen je key stage 3 boy er upore likha thake kintu ks3 othoba key stage 3 likha thakbe ar er moddhe abar higher lower likha thakte pare to apni amazon e specially jodi wsp te jan wsp te jawar pore Branding or Babe? Because I am school to Shamra Shop 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 CGP boy, I'm a boy follow Kori, but I'm not. I mean, all the contents from from all the books, the syllabus are pretty much same. Okay. The children will will cover the the same topic, no matter which which book they, they follow. As long as it says the key, key, key stage three KS3 and higher paper and higher paper, this is going to be. Mm. Thank you, Khalid Bay. We, we we only have a few minutes left, so I w I want to really wrap this up. Um, I didn't get Mariam to give us much chance on on her time, but uh, you know I, I am going to wish you well, mm -hmm. and inshallah your um, your next two years are going to be quite intense. Inshallah. So I hope they go well, Khalid Bay. Thank I you for I your I advice on this. Um, you know, on nine, I just yes. wanted to add thirty seconds if I 30 have thirty seconds. You may have. Remember, go children, uh, uh, you are. This time uh, it is very competitive, just like Maria said. It's very competitive. Now a nine, a star is an eight. A nine, there's no there's no mark boundaries. There's no guarantee. Even you, you might get ninety nine. She said a star star. Yeah. Is a good way to look nine, at it. Yes. Even if you get ninety nine, there's yeah. no guarantee that you'll be nine. But if you can hit nine, what does it tell you, uh, to your college or a future university or your employer? As soon as Maria hit nine the school college university and employer they will think she's the best of the best because so only this, this is the cream of the yeah, crop Great. because this only be 10 to 20 percent of the a star will be awarded nine right so she is the best of the best in her generation brilliant that Halibai. is a very strong message will uh, i would say to to give it to your thank employers. you for that, thank you so there you go you heard of the nine up there where well, i have 30 seconds give us um, give us give us a 30 second quick snapshot advice to our audience on on what's a good um uh, what what they should do in order to go for that nine let's just say um the thing i'd say is um stay on top of it so um if you can work ahead work at, work at a steady pace from the beginning and as soon as you covered everything just practice 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 any form of practice um, if that's past papers, if you have to look at practice questions, if you have to see a teacher, just keep practicing until you get it. Brilliant. Hello, thank you for coming along and giving us thank the insight you, into these grades. We, we try to spend as much time as we can, thank but uh, thank you. And um, I, I hope you continue to tutor students and, 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 and nurture such great students like Maria. Mariam, all the best of luck, as I've said, and I'm saying it again, all the best luck for the next two years, inshallah. May Allah make it easier for you for the next two years. Mariam, well done. Um, uh, Brilliant to see, and I love your motivation of, um, of, of uh, going for medicine based on your experience of your mother at the difficult time. And um, as much as you said that your family doesn't have medicine, your mum's in medicine. Let's not forget that, and we'll let everyone know that. So, well done. And I wish you the best of luck for your A-levels in biology, chemistry, maths, and further maths. Okay, yeah. that's all we have time for. Um, I hope you've um, gained something from this show, and I hope that you can engage more. Adlan Pava will be back next Saturday for another Community Matters show. Um, until then, thank you for... Um, spending the time with me, Abul Hasnat, and I hope to see you soon, maybe on one of my sports programs later on. Until then, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.